Happy New Year everyone. Today we're going to do an experiment. I'm going to put a mess-tastic device on a drone and see what we can pick up. It's going to be fun. This looks like a good spot. I think I've flown from here before. Should be alright. And my home station's over there in the distance over this direction. Get the drone out of the bag. So I've got the Potensic Atom here. It's just like a little... It's actually quite a good drone. It's a Chinese one. It's got a three axis gimbal, but it doesn't really matter for today because all we're doing is just sticking a, a little mesh tastic on it and sending it up. So get these legs apart. Uh, Sorry? <laughs> so I've got a couple of devices with me. I've got the Lilygo T Echo and I've just stuck a little bit of kind of adhesive on the top here. And the idea is stick that on the top. What could go wrong? Right, I've got my little T Echo taped to the top of this drone. <laughs> this is a bit ridiculous, um, but it's only a test. Unfortunately, we've got to wait for a firmware update. Now, I hate this about these drones, the way that you have to do firmware updates before it lets you take off. You should be able to schedule it. So if you're a maker of Chinese drones and you're watching this, please just make it possible to skip an update to do later, because you're not always going to have a good connection, are you? I just want to show you the Mestastic app so you can see my sort of current station list. So you can actually see here, we've got, I've actually picked up all my all my local stations here. Um, oh, interesting. There's a new one here, Venjo. That's quite interesting. So that's quite cool. There's a new station in the area which I hadn't seen before, so <laughs> that's pretty interesting. I just pinged them a little message, but I don't think it's delivered. Right, let's get this drone in the air then and see what else we can find. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna use a Helltech. Um, this is what the phone's gonna be connected to. It's gonna be connected to this one because the Bluetooth range, although the Bluetooth range is really good on these, I'm feeling like maybe at 100 metres high or something like that when this drone's up in the air it might not reach the Bluetooth connection, might st not stretch so I'm going to kind of use this as a bit of a relay so any message I'm going to send is going to go um, from the Helltech and then up to the drone and then out. Just get a bit of height on this. Right up about 50 metres now. So the great thing about these drones is obviously they just hold their position. Obviously you're supposed to keep an eye on it. Um, but they'll hold their position so that means we can sort of do some mesh stuff whilst we've got the drone in the air. So I'm going to flick back over to the, um, the Mesh-tastic app and then we'll see what, what other things we can see. I've actually forgotten to connect my uh, the Heltec node. So I'm just going to connect that now. Because I was, as I was saying, it's, it hasn't reached the one on the drone. But I can relay through the, um, the Heltec now. So. Let's do that, and my sort of list is now updating, you can see here. So I'm going to try just doing a trace route to this, this Benjio one. See if that works. Doesn't seem to be working. I think he might have, he might have gone offline. It says five, last seen five minutes ago. Right, I'm going to leave it up for a second. I know that Benjo one is now saying last seen now, so in theory I should be able to send him a message. So I'm just writing, hello Benjo. <laughs> Yeah, it's received now. The message has said received. There's another tick. So let's hang, hang fire and see if, see if we get a message back from them. I mean, this isn't actually that far away from where we are. Um, but obviously the drone is, is going to help because it's, it's, um, it's up really high. And line of sight is obviously what you want with this stuff. I know they've received my message though because there's a, there's a tick there. Let's see what else is around. So I've actually received WGC0, that's my mate, I know him, so I'm going to send him a message as well um, from this one. So I'm going to say hi from drone, that'll make him laugh, send that one. That should, should deliver from here. So we're using long fast mode, so that obviously shortens the amount of time it takes to sort of get all the acknowledgements and stuff. Um, it hasn't come back with a received though, so I don't know. It's quite a strong signal though from, from him, so I'm going to send out a Happy New Year message on Long Fast, which is the public channel. Happy New Year. Blast out some messages. No other stations have appeared on here, so I think I'm just going to bring it down. I mean, it's just a matter of time before others sort of pop up, but you know, how long, how long do you wait? That's the thing. So WC Base has just received my message there as well. So it might have just taken a second to get through. Um, I'll just hang for a second and see if he replies. Right, bring the drone down. Here it comes. It's a good drone this guys. It really is. Apart from the uh, firmware updating problem, it's pretty good. The mesh test is still on the top. <laughs> yeah. 
So, back safe and sound. So that was pretty interesting. The drone tests went pretty well. So the long fast messages that I sent out saying Happy New Year, I later got reports back from a couple of family members that have got nodes in the not immediate vicinity, maybe like five, six miles away, something like that. So that was pretty cool. Also my mate who runs the node WGC0, he said he got the message from the drone as well. So that's good. So we definitely know it works and it should because you're basically just, you know, up really high. What you can see from the drone up there, you should be able to kind of, you know, hit in terms of like the land and the terrain but it's not as crazy as you'd expect this is actually the second time that i've tried this now and um, the first time wasn't successful at all trying to maintain a 10 mile link to another node so i think for this to really work well you'd have to be even higher still i mean you can't do it with a drone because of the regulations but you could do it with maybe like a light aircraft or something like that for what i can see in the regulations document for this particular band this ism band it can be used airborne so that's interesting on the hand bands we have a thing called APRS which beacons positions onto a map and it's not uncommon to see weather balloons beacon in their position onto the map via APRS it's really cool so I guess to summarize this video apart from being a lot of fun just sticking a drone up um, with one of these devices attached you could see that it could actually be pretty useful um, if you're in an area that is kind of there's no activity at all and you just need that extra height you've got no hills around you it's absolutely possible to use a drone to actually get you know a connection on Mestastic or fill in a gap the thing with Meshtastic, it's of course, it is a bit of a waiting game because you've got to wait for nodes to beacon and to see activity in your area. So it might not be completely practical to leave a drone up in the air for, you know, most of them have got batteries that only last for about 30 minutes and stuff like that. So you'd, you'd have to kind of, you know, bring it down, put it back up if you wanted to sort of do an afternoon's operating, um, you know, from a drone with Meshtastic. Um, but it works. You can see it absolutely works. And in an emergency situation, this could be really good because you could have family members or people you want to stay in contact with um, that you wouldn't normally be able to reach with Meshtastic if you're if there's no mesh in between you. Maybe they've just got these devices at home um, and you know they're waiting for something to pop up. But if you put a drone up then you're going to make connection with those. So this, it could be quite good in emergency situations. There's a flood or, you know, we've seen this in the UK at the moment. So to get a message across, you could have a bit of an action plan in place for family members. Um, you know, so when their cell phone signal or they can't, uh, their internet goes out, for example, um, they could just turn their Meshtastic devices on and just be ready waiting for, for a connection. And then you could potentially put a drone up to make that connection and get a message across um, to somewhere that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do in that sort of scenario. So it's all food for thought, guys. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you next time.